Hey everyone, as the title states, this tutorial is going to be for the ARG Tech um, on the DJI uh, minus the Phantom 3 standard. Um, I noticed a few videos that were posted for this install, but most of them were you know, either in a different language or were 20 minutes long, so I wanted to make a quick video that touched on all the highlights but was also brief and, and to the point. So, all that being said, uh, I take no responsibility for um, any damage to your guys' controllers. Um, this install was quick and easy for me, um, but again, I, I can't take any responsibility for damage to yours. Um, before we get started, a few points uh, I'd like to make about the ARG Tech is that I noticed a very nice uh, increase in my range over the stock antennas. Uh, I'd say that it's, uh, I'd say nearly double, if not a little bit better than double the range. Um, and this all install was also uh, very easy when when you compare it to other uh, UHF installs that I've done in the past. Uh, no soldering and you know not requiring any tools uh, is definitely um, a win in my book. So here's a quick screenshot of what you guys are going to receive from ARG Tech. Uh, you'll get the mounting bracket. Uh, you also get four antennas, uh, one Omni, and three of them are patch. Um, two of the patch antennas are for the video, and then they give you the option on the control of either going with uh, a, another patch antenna or the Omni antenna, the long and uh, skinny antenna. Um, so the ones on either side uh, of the controller are actually for your video, and those are in 2.4 gigahertz. And the center antenna, uh, that one controls the aircraft, so the you know, up, down, left, right controls, um, and, and is actually in 5.8 gigahertz, which is interesting. Um, so let's get going on the install. Uh, we'll get, we'll start by uh, turning off the controller uh, and ensuring that it stays off during this entire installation. Um, whether that's a piece of tape or, you know, just being careful, um, you can't have that thing turn on while the antennas are disconnected uh, or you will damage your controller. Uh, so flip over uh, your controller, remove the four screws that are on the back. Be careful when you pop the controller in half as there's uh, a few wiring harnesses that connect the front to the back of the controller. Um, so you want to pay attention to the orientation of these or I guess just rewind this video. Make sure when you put this thing back together uh, that these uh, wires are, are um, you know, in this, uh, in this orientation. So we're going to start by uh, gently cutting the adhesive around these three terminals. Um, so we're placing three antennas. Um, we're cutting the adhesive around three terminals. So two of these control the um, 2.4 gigahertz video at the top two, and the last one, 5.8 gigahertz, is on the bottom, and that uh, con connection is for um, the remote control of the aircraft. Um, so we're going to. Uh, cut the adhesive around these three terminals, and then you you should be able to pull it out. Um, you either either use a knife or um, I guess a razor blade would be ideal. Um, but pay attention to the uh, orientation, uh, the colors of these antennas as they come off, because you're going to replace them um, with the same ones from ARG Tech. So install uh, next. You want to install the uh, new antenna bracket uh, with the three ports. Um, as, as well as the supporting uh, gear. Um, you don't want this uh, hanging off as you're trying to put these uh, connections on. So you'll um, next attach the, the three new connections. Uh, remember that the bottom one is for the remote, the RC, and the top two are for your video and are in 2.4. Uh, make sure that you line up uh, the correct colors uh, in the order that you removed them. Um, you're gonna press the new connections on and uh, the, the middle wire coming out of the ARG Tech bracket um, actually goes to the bottom connection. That's your remote control. So you can look up inside that bracket and see which one comes off the middle. And you want that one going to the bottom um, connection port on your remote control. Um, again, these things will uh, click when they're properly seated. Uh, and you're also going to want to apply, um, or you have the option of applying a small amount of hot glue uh, in order to secure them. Um, so you're going to want to um, reinstall uh, the wiring harnesses next that you that you took out and then um, make sure that they're again in the correct orientation 
then um, pop the two halves of the remote back together, reinstall the four screws onto the back of the controller, and the last step is to uh, screw in your new antennas into the mounting bracket. Again, make sure that your your controller stays off um, for this entire entire portion. Um, so your antennas are going to be labeled on the back side. Um, there's a, a small label towards the bottom. Um, and the, there's two of them that are labeled as 7 dBi. Um, they're the 2.4 gigahertz antennas and those will go on either side of the middle one um, and that's your 5.8 gigahertz uh, either the Omni or patch. Again these are labeled um, but you must make sure that this is done correctly. Uh, attaching these um, in, a, in an incorrect order or attaching an antenna um, that's of an incorrect frequency uh, will result in, in zero range of your aircraft and, and will also damage your remote control. So if you guys found this video to be helpful, uh, I'd really appreciate you guys liking this video. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them below and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, here are also a few of the recent videos that I've uh, made with my Phantom 3.